More LED light bulb facts. LED bulbs emit 80% less greenhouse gases than incandescent bulbs of the same luminosity. LED bulbs emit 451 pounds of CO2 per year, while incandescent bulbs emit 4,405 pounds of CO2 per year. Replacing one light bulb in every house in the U.S. with an LED bulb would reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 9 billion pounds. LED bulbs are more sustainable than other lights because they are more energy efficient, use less electricity, and last longer. They use approximately 40% less electricity than fluorescent lights and 80% less than incandescent lights. LED light bulbs are the safest type of light bulbs. Fluorescent bulbs contain mercury, which is dangerous if the bulb is broken. Old-fashioned incandescent bulbs can be a fire hazard because around 90% of the energy used is turned into heat. People choose LED lighting because it is the most energy-efficient option. LED light bulbs use around 15 times less electricity than halogen bulbs, and around 3 times less than CFL bulbs. For the same amount of light, over the same amount of time, LED light bulbs use far less power. Using less energy reduces your carbon footprint because generating electricity produces CO2, carbon dioxide. An LED bulb will last approximately 17 years. Incandescent light bulbs have a short lifespan, so they have to be replaced frequently. Switching to LED bulbs won't just save you money, it also lowers your carbon footprint. The manufacturing of bulbs uses precious resources, takes energy and produces carbon dioxide. The more bulbs manufactured and used, the greater the carbon dioxide emissions. LED light bulbs have a very long lifespan compared to incandescent light bulbs. During the lifetime of just one LED, you would have to use around 30 incandescent bulbs. This means 30 times more bulbs would have to be manufactured, using significantly more materials and resources, resulting in more CO2 emissions. Switching to LED lighting is the simple way to lower your carbon footprint and save money. In a traditional incandescent light bulb, the ones you're probably looking to replace, light is created by heating a tungsten filament in the bulb. The filament is heated to the point where it starts to glow but does not meet its melting point. Tungsten is used because it has the highest melting point of any metal. Although this process creates light, around 90% of the energy used is given off as heat and not light. Not great. Halogen bulbs, and other, modern, versions of the incandescent bulb, operate using the same principle, often with modifications, such as filling the bulb with halogen gas, in order to increase operating life. But they still waste 90% of the energy on heat. Compact fluorescent lights, CFLs, are easily recognizable because of their tubes of gas, which are often shaped in a swirl in order to maximize the light emitted by the vapor inside. They work by flowing electricity through argon and mercury vapor in a tube, creating ultraviolet light, which then interacts with a coating on the tube to create light. This process means that very little heat is created, but the process is also more energy intensive than a LED for the amount of light created, and it creates potentially dangerous ultraviolet light as a byproduct. Additionally, there's the possibility of mercury being released into the local environment if the bulb is ever broken. A decade ago, this was the light bulb you got to replace the traditional incandescent. It's much more efficient than the incandescent, and because it's been in development since the 1970s, it was in a position to scale up production in order to bring costs down enough to compete with incandescents. But the CFL technology has not been able to keep up with the advances in LEDs. CFLs generally fall between incandescents and LEDs in terms of price and energy use. Light-emitting diodes, LEDs, create light using circuits. Electricity flows into the bulb, where some interesting physics and semiconductor design work together to create light. Very little heat is produced during this process, as much as just having your phone or computer screen on, with up to 80% of the energy used resulting in visible light. Because of this design, LEDs also last much longer. They have no moving parts, no parts undergoing thermal stress, and no gases and coatings which could wear off. This gives the LED bulb fewer points of failure, and allows it to continue operating long after other forms of lighting would have broken. To be clear, this is what a LED light bulb looks like.
not this or this this There are many places to buy LED light bulbs including hardware stores, home improvement stores, and lighting stores. You can also buy LED light bulbs online from retailers like Best Buy, Amazon, and Walmart. <laughs>